Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, friends of the Ortolino Company. Welcome, friends of Japanese art prints. I'm Dieter, Dieter Ventura, and I'm the owner of a little family company located in southern Germany, in the state of Bavaria. And we sold Japanese prints, but also contemporary art prints, in weekly online auctions since 2001. And we produce these videos always related to the art prints that we offer in our weekly online auctions. In today's video, I want to present uh, a series, a Japanese print series by Ando Hiroshige, who was active in the uh, first half of the 19th century. So today we are talking about old Japanese prints. And in the second part, I want to explain the quality classification for old Japanese prints. It's a kind of standard scheme used by dealers in, in Japanese prints. And in the last, the third part, I want to demonstrate using these quality um, classifications, how you can recognize a late impression with a low quality um, for such an old Japanese prince compared to a fresh impression uh, with a good quality. Okay, so let's begin with Hiroshige and the Tokaido. Well, this landscape printmaker, print designer, he's famous especially for one series titled 53 Stations of the Tokaido. The Tokaido it was an old medieval um, Japanese highway system which connected um, today's Tokyo with, uh, with Kyoto, well, the city uh, and residence of the emperor of Japan until so roughly 1865, if I remember that um, right. And it was the most important road system in old medieval Japan. And when I speak of medieval Japan, this lasted at least until 1850. Uh, Few people who've heard about the 53 uh, stations of the Teokaido, however, know that uh, Hiroshige made not only this series about the Tokaido, but overall nearly 20 Tokaido series. Or just because the first one was so successful. And it's just the same as with today's movies, yeah. Uh, when a successful movie is started, um, you may have a, a second follow-up or a third, a third follow-up, and it's the same um, with these uh, 53 stations of the Tokaido. So roughly 20 Tokaido series, and one of them is called the Figure Tokaido or the Jim Butso Tokaido. Um, Japanese print series are often called after the publisher of a series. And uh, later, collectors, in order to distinguish these series, they gave certain names uh, to a series. And in Japanese, the figure Tokaido is called Tokaido Goyo San Tsuki Jim Butsu. And it's also called figure Tokaido for a simple reason. Um, normally, these Tokaido series or landscape prints with sometimes very small people um, in the print. But for the figure Togedo series, you see, uh, they are a very important element of the design. And in each design, you can see in the foreground rather large one or more um, figures, people. The figure Tokaido consists overall of 56 sheets and they have all this portrait format, but they are not very large. A normal old Okio has so roughly this size and this one is a little bit smaller, so-called Shuban size. The uh, figure Tokaido was published for the first time in 1852 
1852, and publisher was Mura, Muraichi. And therefore, a third name for the series is also the Muraichi Tokairo series. Ukiyoe dealers, Ukiyoe is another word, a Japanese word for Japanese uh, prints, and it's used so for old Japanese prints roughly until 1900. Anyway, Ukiyoe dealers have always been thinking how can we classify old, especially old Japanese prints, uh, so that a collector can recognize the, the quality. Uh, especially in former times, before the internet, when you had catalogs uh, without any images, or just a small image in, in black and white, then this was very um, important. And so by and by, over the decades, a kind of standard quality classification scheme came out. And this scheme uh, has three aspects. Well, uh, three, well, let's say, um, ranking aspects. The first is quality, the second is um, colors, and the third is impression. Let me explain that. Um, the first quality, this is just how well is it preserved, yeah? Does it have spots or does it have wormholes or um, um, did somebody cut off the margins, yeah? Uh, this is meant um, as quality and you have some kind of grading, yeah, from mint, excellent, very good, good, fair. Um, it's not standardized, so Actually, every dealer can use this grading as they, they like, so be a little bit careful, yeah, but at least it's a scheme. The second aspect, colors, yeah. This ranks how fresh the colors are of such a print. Here, for instance, yeah, you have the feeling these are fresh colors because, for instance, when you put an old Japanese print hang it on the wall and exposed to sunlight. Well, then um, the colors can fade out um, easily, especially for these old natural um, colors. So colors, ranking scheme um, for the quality of yeah colors. And the third one, impression. Uh, this is now a little bit difficult to explain. I have to tell you, how um, a Japanese, an old Japanese woodblock print uh, is created actually. This old technique yields such an image by carving uh, the image into a wooden, a flat wooden block. And for the old Japanese um, system, you have to carve one block for each color, for such a multicolor print, yeah? And, uh, well then, um, you print by uh, making the raised areas of this block, making, by wetting it, making it wet, and then um, applying ink on it, and then you have, you put the, the paper on it and wrap with a baron, or you could do it even with your your palm, and you have to repeat that uh, for each color. And of course, then you have to adjust the paper precisely. Yeah? But this is how it is done. And now comes the trick. Um, such a wooden, these wooden blocks, they wear off. Uh, the number of copies you can print is not unlimited. Experts guess uh, that maybe six, eight thousand, ten thousand uh, copies can be pulled from uh, such a block, but then the quality of the impression is so poor um, that um, it's very visible. And then um, these blocks are often recarved, but then they are no longer originals, then they are called reproductions. And uh, they can wear off because sometimes they have uh, very thin lines and these lines can break. And another thing, 
when you apply water to wood over the time, the water shrinks. So when you apply water for um, printing, these raised parts, they shrink. And then you see in the design, you see uh, gaps. And now in the next step, I will show you such an example for a print from this figure Tokaido series where you can easily recognize these gaps and uh, can recognize thus that this is a late impression and collectors are always willing to pay more for uh, an early impression because it's much better compared to a late impression. Got the message? Wonderful. Okay, in the next step, I'm going to show you this example. And now, my friends, I'm going to demonstrate how you can recognize a late impression. Well, using uh, the explanation that I used uh, before. And this is now a design from the Tokaido series. And this is a specific print. We have it in the current auction. Uh, every now and then, we also uh, offer a print uh, that is not mint, but um, yeah, in the ranking a little bit lower. But of course, then it is also reflected by the price. This one is much cheaper. Uh, the title of this print is Nisaka. Nisaka is the name, one of these stations um, of the Tokaido. And I first want to read to you how my Japanese wife, Yori, she makes these descriptions and she makes the ranking, how she ranked this print overall for these three ranking criteria, colors, quality, and finally impression. Well, colors, excellent to very good by Yori. Yeah, okay, that's, that's not bad. Um, quality, very good. Slight soils, so very good is so in the middle. Slight soils, slight ink specks, slight foxing. And third, impression, her ranking is fair. And fair is not good at all. Yeah, that is really, yeah. Fair, later printing, probably in 1970 until 1980s. And remember, this print was first published and thus first printed the first early impressions in 1852 and Hiroshige he died in 1858 so between 1870 and 1880 uh, or even a little bit later 1880s uh, my wife Yori she says this is a posthumous print but it's still an original print okay and now Watch, I explained to you that due to the shrinking of these raised areas of a wooden block, you see gaps. And now watch precisely um, what I'm showing you. Look here at the ridge of the mountain. Can you see these white parts or here on top of the hair of this Japanese lady or here? or here along this area, or even here a very large white area, also here along the tree edge, or here. And now let's take a, another image a little bit larger. This is directly from our catalog now. Uh, probably have to move back a little bit. There, um, you may recognize it on the TV screen even more distinctively, or here, here. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a clear indicator for a late uh, impression and we ranked it only fair. I just showed you an example for a very late impression um, and an impression ranking of just fair, which is really not at all uh, good. But I want to conclude uh, with the opposite. Uh, a design of, which we sold oh, many years ago from the same series, the figure Tokaido, which doesn't have any uh, 
impression quality, uh, impression issues at all? Well, I don't know how we ranked it, but spontaneously I would say at least very good or excellent. You don't see any of these white gaps when you look uh, at that image. And I have a request for you before you bid, please always take a very careful look at our auction catalog. Take a look at the image and read the description well. Please read the description well before you bid. My Japanese wife, she makes excellent descriptions and we tried to make them rather critical. We rather want you to be positively surprised when you unpack um, a print shipment you get from us compared to the opposite. Okay, well then, thanks for watching. And if you like, well, take a look at our next week, uh, next week uh, video. Usually we publish a new video, so roughly once per week. Well, every now and then we also make a break. Okay, and take care of yourself, my friends. I don't want to lose you.